<laughs> Hello. I actually spun all the way around there. That's pretty good. Hello, welcome to a day in the life. Vlognica day three. <laughs> Not six, three. So this morning I optimistically set my alarm for 7.30. One, I've just been getting up later than usual during 2020 for all kinds of reasons. My body and mind need it. But also my body since I had surgery two years ago needs nine hours of sleep. And last night ended up going to bed at like 11, 11.30. And so waking up at 7.30 would have meant eight hours. And I woke up at 7.30 with my alarm and I was like, yeah, no, body cannot do it. So I set my alarm again for eight and then I snoozed it a bit and then I eventually got up at 8.20. Slowly woke up, put my workout clothes on, brushed my teeth, took the washing down and then at about 8.45 I started my Nintendo Switch Ring Fit workout. Not sponsored, just love it. Lots of fun, got a bit sweaty. With the Ring Fit I tend to turn the music and the audio for it all way down and either listen to an audiobook or listen to a podcast or listen to my own music. I much prefer that in the mornings than listening to the ring fit whole thing. I got pretty sweaty and then stretched and at around 9.30 I got in the shower, had a dance break because I was listening to one of my favourite Avett Brothers songs. They say you gotta lose a couple fights to win. It's hard to tell from where I'm sitting. They say that this is where the fun begins. I guess it's time that I was quitting. And it's a filming day, so it is a makeup day. The makeup has been applied. I have never been the type of person to make the bed in the morning. I never saw the point in it, never bothered, always had a messy bed, and I just get back into it at night, fine. Until my godfather got me and Dan as a wedding gift, this very fancy throw for the bed. And now I feel like an adult. I'm like, oh, this is now an adult's bed. Like it wasn't an adult's bed before. Now that we have this throw on it, it's an adult's bed. And so I make the bed every morning <laughs> to feel like an adult. Last night I forgot to write in my five year diary. And so this morning I sat down and tried to remember what I did yesterday. What did I do yesterday? I hate this. It is wild to me how quickly I forget what I did each day. I was just sat there like, I do not remember. So on this day, the 1st of December, 2019, it was winter in the city day two. I talked on a panel about working offline and hung out with a bunch of really lovely viewers at the bookmark stand. And then I got a train back to London with Mel and Lucy and had dominoes and watched Jingle Cats and let it snow. We're actually watching Jingle Cats today, so that'll be fun. And 1st of December 2018, Jingle Cats also <laughs> is a feature, but it must have been a weekend because it said that Dan and I played lots of surf until 3 a.m. and got kebab takeaway. So is my life that much different? Well, there's no winter in the city. Oh, lockdown. In case you're wondering, these trousers that I'm wearing, I rented from on loan. I did a trying rented clothes video for Vlognica last year and I haven't really bought many new clothes this year but for the Christmas season I felt like I wanted some new clothes but I didn't want to add anything to my wardrobe so I rented and these are one of the things that I got. So fun! And then 10 past 10 sat down at my desk and beginning the working day. Bit of a late start for me but I also have work stuff going on this evening so it'll carry over, it's fine. But also you don't have to be working all the time constantly. Hannah, I work for myself, pick your own hours, damn it. Don't feel guilty if you're not being productive constantly. Oh, also, can you see this? It's the back massager that I found. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Although I do think I overdid it the other day because I felt a bit bruised. No work is getting done today. <laughs> So the video I'm filming today, as well as this one, obviously, is Vlognica day five. So you can look forward to watching this in two days time. And it is me trying to bake some donuts, mini donuts. I've got all of my stuff here ready, recipe, all of my bits and bobs. And also today is the first time I'm filming a video with my new camera. It's the Sony A, 
six six oh oh I don't know six thousand six 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 that one and a new lens so I'm very nervous but very excited to see how it all comes out look how little it is it's much smaller than my old setup normally I would do overhead shots with this camera for this kind of thing but I need to save the battery on this for filming this video so yeah I'm not gonna do too much behind the scenes of this video because you'll see it in a oh, two days oh I've forgotten my piping bag I bought a piping bag I've no idea how to use them piping bag have I got all of my bits? Am I ready? Am I ready? I don't feel ready. All right, I'm all done filming. Here are my amazing donuts. I just need to clean up and then import all of the footage and send it to Becky, my editor. Yum, yum, yum. And then I should probably actually eat some real food. Whilst I was filming, the doorbell went twice. I am expecting two deliveries today, so makes sense. But whilst baking <laughs> was, was a tad inconvenient. Basically matches our living room. Damn it. All of the mixture from inside the bowl. No. But you may have noticed in the background of the clips of me at my desk, there is now a plant here. Before you start asking questions, I am not a plant person. I don't even know what kind of plant this is. The website called it Sharon. That's obviously not the name of the plant. But basically, as I mentioned, got a new camera. Oh, there it is. Um, and the lens on that camera is much wider than my old one. And so I was doing a whole bunch of test shots the other day and like figuring everything out. And you can see the plug socket. And I've got a few older videos where you can see the plug socket in the frame, but it just annoys me. Like it, it just looks so ugly. And I was like, I know, I'll get a plant to cover it up. And I uh, got a plant, this is my plant to cover up the plug socket. So now you know when future videos come out with the plant. Literally just there to cover up the plug socket. And then the other thing that arrived is also part of my new video setup. It's this little light. I need to go out and get a bulb for it, but the idea is that it goes behind this chair and it lights the background a bit to kind of like separate my head from the background. We're getting production value. It's going up a little bit, maybe. It depends how well I can use the tech because let's be real, not the techiest person out there. I am that YouTuber who learned the bare minimum about cameras and lighting and sound, all of the workshops I went to at the YouTube space. I absorbed the absolute minimum I needed to remember to actually make a video. But it's cool, huh? Look at this. Sharon, my auntie's called Sharon. All right, Sharon, do we need to give you a water now? Let's have a little test. Nah, you're good. You're good. Now, I need to get a bulb. Also, my husband, still can't say that word seriously. My husband, he can't breathe through his nose because of getting repeatedly punched in the face doing boxing a couple of years ago. And so he has to get these like nose strips to sleep in. How romantic. And he's run out and I promised I'd go out and get him some today. And also it is beautiful outside and I didn't leave the flat yesterday. So I need an excuse to go outside. So we're hunting for some nose strips and we're hunting for a light bulb. I also need to eat something. Oh, it's cold on my teeth. Dan says that when I'm enjoying food, I do, I do a happy food dance. And that is clearly what has just started happening now. I am back. It is 10 to 2. 
how is it already 10 to 2? Got my light bulbs. And on. Oof. There's my new light. And then we stick it behind the chair. Mm. This is going to be, there'll be a plant. There'll be this backlight situation. I did get a dimmable bulb. However, the switch on the light is just an on off. So that's how bright it's always gonna be successful outdoor trip I also ate some food so things are looking up so I'm basically just doing desk work for the rest of the day I've got a video that's also going live later and then this evening I've got one of my supervisions for the sexuality educator course that I'm doing but desk work in one of my previous days in the life there were a few people in the comments who were curious and interested in the more detail of like what what I do when I'm at my desk and how do I manage the relationships with my assistant and my editor and the process of all of the content creation. So as it's Vlognica, I thought I would chat through a bit about how I planned these eight videos that are going out over these eight days and how it's day three for you and yet I'm filming this on the 1st of December. <laughs> so the dates of Hanukkah change every year so every year I kind of like start prepping and filming Vlognica at different times but I generally aim for about a month in advance to start even if that's just starting the filming because on top of Vlognica I also have just the regular weekly videos going out on both channels and the weekly podcast and my newsletter and then all of my Patreon stuff as well. So I like to be well prepared. Last year Hanukkah was over Christmas and New Year and so even though I was taking a break I still kind of had to be plugged into work every single day to post the videos, do the social media and check the comments and stuff. But this year Hanukkah is from the 10th until the 17th of December and I plan on finishing for the year, finishing all of my work on Friday the 18th. And to make things really easy and chill for me, for my assistant and my editor in that last week, we have a deadline for all of the Vlognica videos to be done by Friday the 11th. Obviously they'll already be like one live, but all of the ones coming up like edited in YouTube, all of the metadata and everything done. So basically with that deadline in mind, I just worked backwards. I had roughly eight different video ideas of things that I wanted to film and I kind of put them in an order that I felt made sense. <laughs> There's not really a science to it. I didn't really overthink it. Just went with my gut. So what I did was I basically took the final Vlognica video and said, okay, the deadline for this one to be completely done up in YouTube is Friday the 11th. And then I took day seven. That was Thursday the 10th. Day six, Wednesday the 9th. And basically like worked backwards from there. And we already have a system with like how long it takes for edits and my feedback and just the general flow of things. So I basically just put it <laughs> in the Asana, which we use for all of our like project management. I put all of the deadlines and the dates and everything in Asana and then checked with Becky, my editor. And I was like, take a look at everything. Let me know what you think. It's flexible, but this is roughly how it's going to go so that we get everything done in time. And then obviously as part of all of that, I had to be like, okay, when am I free to film? And I had to schedule in all of my filming days. So at the time of me filming this, 1st of December, I obviously have filmed two Vlognica videos today, this one and the baking one. And I've actually filmed six now. So after today, six will be done and the final two Vlognica videos I'm filming next week. And then obviously I'm also filming for the Hannah Witten channel as well. So we're scheduling it all in. And also because of lockdown, Dan only goes into the office two days a week. And so I have to make sure all of my content creation happens on those days. So all my filming, all of my podcast recording, anything that requires some privacy, please, I need to pop it onto those two days. So with all of those restrictions, you then get a beautiful work schedule with a timeline. But today, what am I doing today? As I was saying privacy, I need to record the podcast intro for next week's podcast. So I've got all of my podcast episodes for the end of this year, the end of this season 
done and one episode recorded for next season, next year, and a bunch more scheduled in, ready to record. But I like to record my intro like a week before it goes out because oftentimes I'm recording these episodes like several weeks or sometimes a month or two before they go out. So at least my intro can be somewhat timely. <laughs> a little bit, not a huge amount. So I've got to do that. And then also this Friday, the Sexy Scribbles digital coloring in book is coming out. By the time you're watching this, it is out. You can purchase it below 14 sex positive coloring in pages. So I need to write the newsletter announcement for that and also get everything ready for patrons as well because my patrons get the coloring book for free if they were signed up before it comes out. So I need to get everything prepped to send it to them as well. And actually speaking of Patreon, I am now a Patreon creator ambassador. It's like a paid three month program with a bunch of creators. And that's so cool because I talk about Patreon a lot. I love Patreon. I love my patrons. I love the community that we have there. And so yeah, you might see me talking about Patreon in some videos. You also might see me talking about it on Instagram a bit more. And I just wanted to let you know that that is part of this ambassador program and it is paid by Patreon but I can say whatever the hell I want basically. It's like a paid ambassadorship and also because it's the first of the month today I just need to make sure that I have all of the bits and bobs in my calendar to do all of my Patreon stuff this month. So there's a monthly live stream and because it's December we did this last year where normally it's just my top tier patrons who do the monthly live stream with me but we open it up to everybody for Christmas. By the time this goes up, will it be happening? So you listening to this, could you join us? Uh, let's find out. By the time this video goes out though, I'll know when it is. So I'll put it in the description if it's gonna be in your future. But yeah, for Christmas, what we do with the live stream is that me and the other top tier producer patrons, we have our pre-party. <laughs> And then we open it up to everybody and we just have a big old end of year patron live stream and hang out and have a jolly good merry time. There's a Christmas live stream but it, it will be around Hanukkah. <laughs> we'll have a jolly good Hanukkah time. And the other thing that I need to make sure is on my to-do list is doing my Patreon reading list. So every month I put together a reading list of videos, podcast episodes, articles that I have consumed and what I thought about them, what I learned from them, what it's making me think about and all of that stuff. And I try and do that around the beginning of the month. And so I just need to check my week calendar and make sure that I can pop that in. I think I'm gonna try and do it on Friday. But yeah, as well as the monthly things that I do on Patreon, I also just always have the Discord app open on my computer so I can just like check and see what's going on in the server and see if there's any conversations that I have something to say about. But most of the time I'm just lurking, just lurking, hanging out. We recently added a birthday bot to the server so people can input their birthdays and then the birthday bot will be like, happy birthday so-and-so and then everyone can be like, happy birthday. <laughs> if you didn't know, Patreon is a membership platform and all sorts of different creators from YouTubers, podcasters, music artists, visual artists, poets, activists, like all sorts of different people use it and their audience can pay a monthly membership to help support the content that they make. This year I have been so grateful for my patrons, especially because a lot of work got pulled around March and April time, but I was still able to sustain myself throughout the year and still able to pay my assistant and pay my editor and still like make all of the content and do all of the things that I have done this year without worrying too much that brands were pulling out and brands like on that side of my work, there wasn't like a lot of stuff at the beginning and also no events as well, no events. And I'm also really grateful because I'm able to take this like two, two and a half weeks off over Christmas and New Year and having a patron for me just feels like, oh, I can take like this two weeks off making content and not worry too much because I'm such a worrier when it comes to taking time off and not making content, not putting content out there. But honestly, having this like regular source of income from people who want to support my content and see that content still 
being made, like the sex education videos and the sex and relationships podcast, knowing that I can still make those things <laughs> even if I take two weeks off, it's just like weight off my shoulders. But in order for me to take that time off, I need to crack on with some work. I need some water and then we're gonna get down to business. I've done all of the newsletter and sexy scribble stuff and so now I'm moving on to the podcast intro. So I just need to write it from my notes from when we recorded the episode. <laughs> write out a script and record it. Whilst I'm recording, I always make notes of things that we talk about, like any tangents that we go on that aren't in my questions. So that when it comes to doing the intro, I have like all of the information that I need <laughs> in order to like get across what we actually talked about. This is the only analog thing that I still do. Everything else of mine is digital, but when I'm recording a podcast, I do pen to paper. We discuss the difference between the spectacle of sexual liberation as we see it in the media versus real and personal sexual liberation, which Kimberly describes as more of an, in <laughs> oh my God, more of an, more of an, more of, more of, more of an, inter an internal, an internal, right. Whoa, and that's how I record my podcast intros. <laughs> It's bright. Okay, I'm going through my emails. It's email time and I've got five minutes until the video goes live. So I'm gonna get my shit together for that. Gotta download all of the assets onto my phone so I can do the social medias. This video is all about vaginismus. Okay, video live dan's home and he's got beer ready for jingle cats too short in the arms i'm pretty sure this fitted me last year you ready for jingle cats yep dan's trying a donut so what they smell like is um do you remember the cereal the little cinnamon square ones mm -hmm. no i never had those not too bad considering <laughs> they haven't been fried yeah they've been baked i don't know if it's because they're small but they're a little bit dense This is our Christmas tree. It has baubles of our wedding flowers in it that I made. And then also some sex toys that I got from Love Honey's advent calendar. They're all black though, so you can't see. Here we go, there's a, there's a butt plug there. We're waiting for Jingle Cats to start. It is like 10 past 5 p.m. And Dan's gonna be making dinner. And I have got my supervision at Seven. The more this video has gone on, the more I like to think of this day in the life video being an antidote to some of the like hustle culture, like productive days in the life. Because whilst I am a sucker for like organization and productivity, I also really appreciate that work-life balance. And that's kind of what today has been. I got everything that I needed to get done, done today before five o'clock when I started working at 10. Then I have my supervision and all I have to do this evening is import all of this footage. So I've just got a teeny bit of work left to do, but other than that, it's the 1st of December. It's Jingle Cats. It's Jingle Jam! You excited? Always. So I'm wearing a fucking Christmas so jumper. I know. Oh Dan's favourite time of year. You're not normally like an enthusiastic person. It peaks in the, on the 1st of December. That's the problem. Oh, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> what? December or Jingle Jam? No comment. So much of Jingle Cats is Dan laughing and me being like, I don't get it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just one big collection of in-jokes and memes. Yeah, I don't get them. I'm not in the in-jokes. I'm not in the in-group. Mm. What? Enjoying Jingle Cats? And then we've got, of course, that is the cats that belong to G. Thanks for dinner! Like, like, yeah, like, super upmarket. Yeah, <laughs> right, I've kicked Dan out and he's continuing watching Jingle Cats in the office because it's supervision time. And this is basically how I do all of my classes for IC, which is the Institute for Sexuality Education and Enlightenment. And I'm doing a sexuality educator course with them. And I basically just have my laptop on top of some board games and I sit on the sofa and join in supervisions and watch uh, the live webinars and stuff. And yeah, it's basically so I can be comfy because a lot of the live ones are evening time for me. So yeah, it allows me just to chill out and absorb the information. But yeah, it's group supervision today. So we have a supervisor and there's a group of us as it is called. And we chat about what's been going on. It's like a theme for each meeting that we have and we help each other out and see where we're at with our work, career, ideas, things. Supervision is done. We talked about consent forms and NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. And it is now like almost quarter to nine, almost my bedtime. I enjoy going to bed <laughs> at around 9.30 and then doing a bit of reading and then passing out by 10.30. That's usually my aim. But I'm just gonna chill on the sofa for a bit and do some reading. I haven't picked this book up in a while. I read the first bit and then it just was really dense and I wanted to read some fiction, but it's Invisible Women, exposing data bias in a world designed for men. And look at that. We end where we began in the beautiful adult bed <laughs> because it has an adult throw on it. <laughs> I sleep naked, so we're gonna end the vlog here. And when I get into bed, I'm going to actually write in my five-year diary whilst the events of the day are fresh in my mind. I hope that you've enjoyed this day in the life. It's been a pretty like balanced day for me. Like got my work done, did all of that stuff, and then had some leisure time, had some partner time and had some me time. And I went outside, like honestly, <laughs> what a balanced day, love it. And I moved my body, oh, all of the things. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for another vlog and a video tomorrow. Goodbye. Look at it, grown up, it's so grown up in my mind. <laughs>